Hello, 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 I'm Philip Magnus, and these are my favourite Baldur's Gate 3 bugs, again. If you'd like to know a little bit more about me... I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Let's get on with it, shall we? Our first bug is this beauty, which was very strange indeed. The first time you meet Lazel, you usually get something of an introductory scene with her and a couple of tieflings. However, these tieflings had nothing to tell me at all. And as you might figure, I eventually had to murder them rather than attempt to persuade them, which was a pity, really, because I do not like murder. No. Our second bug is this one, and it all has to do, well, it's actually a few bugs, a few different occasions of the same bug, rather. And all of them have a lot to do with just wonky and weird animation bugs. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. Our third bug has everything to do with lighting. And it Carl is Magrin, not a good luck for you anyone involved. Back. Luckily, this one was fixed in the new patch. But as you can tell, it was quite bizarre. This bug I like to call the treadmill. And it is a wonky one. I had my darling companion just start running in the air on top of a crate at one point and then it just went worse from that point onwards. This wasn't as bad as it looks. All I had to do was teleport my entire party to the town square to get it fixed. Shooting will, for whatever reason, did not work. A short but joyful bug has to do once more with Will just floating in the air in the most bizarre way possible. He got hit by a rock and neither he nor the rock went down. Huh. We win in a moment. Now this was a bizarre one. I like to call it the loop. The issue I was met with in this entire windmill fight had to do with my character being unable to either attack or move in any way. In fact, I could move with her, but whenever I did, by the end of the turn, she would just go back to the same place that she was in. Oh, you saw her just now doing the same thing. Very bizarre, very strange, no thanks. Did not enjoy it. One out of ten. Bad game, would buy again. The worst part of it is, the issue did not stop there. Even when I teleported back to the camp, my poor character was still incapable of movement. On this occasion, I think I actually had to restart, which was mildly annoying. Songbirds could peep war cries more chilling than yours. If you've seen my previous video, this might be familiar. The Stairway to Heaven makes a return. This time, not with a companion, but with one of the NPCs. Which... It is endlessly entertaining to watch. Especially with uh, Zevlor just uh, spouting off commands in the background. And these idiots. Look at them. Why did they even come up if they, all day? They... What is going on? Wonky is what this is. I love it. Cringy, but I love it. And if you love it too, you might like to click that subscribe button and even like the video. Ah, uh, yes. Shadow Heart is not good at cup holding. It's self explanatory enough. And last, but certainly not least, this poor mushroom person glitched to no end as it was leading me to treasure. Speaking with it did nothing. Trying to engage with it did nothing. And 
Honestly, guys, I just feel sad about the whole thing. You know what I don't feel sad about? I don't feel sad about this game. This game is fantastic. You should buy this game. I'm gonna do a whole lot more on this game in the future. I suppose I'm just waiting for it to come out properly. To really dig in. But it's phenomenal. And hey, while we're all waiting for Baldur's Gate 3 to come out, you might as well subscribe to my channel, smash that like button. Yes, I'll see you next time. Bye!